Hello, Stefan here from Infancia Soundtrack. I'm going to show you today how to export a seamless loop. Um, so, here we go. Uh, I'll, first, I'll just play a piece of music, uh, and then I'll select the part that I want to create the seamless loop from. So, let's just listen to a part of it. Okay, there we go. So what we're going to do is uh, we'll want to take a part of this and make a perfect seamless loop of it. Um, I'm interested in this section here, quite a heroic, aggressive part. I want to create a small seamless loop for a game. And um, so I'll mark the all the audio or all the uh, MIDI notes and sections. So um, also you might have to uh, use the scissor tool or something like that and slice it um, down. So, so you can select it if it's spanning across measures that you don't want to include. Now, in my case, I'll hold the Alt key in Cubase and copy it all to outside the range of the track. And then I'll do the same again, and I'll do the same again. The reason why I'm doing it three times is uh, instead of just exporting this section here, uh, I want to do it three times, and then what I'm interested in is the center part. The reason for this being that uh, if I were to just export this single loop, it wouldn't be a perfect, uh, perfect seamless loop because as the track starts right here, uh, it won't contain any of the reverb trails from from the end of this, so it'll sound very strange. So once I've uh, copied the measures, I've done it three times. I've set my markers using the Control uh, key to set the left one and the Alt key to set my right one. I want to just export this as uh, audio mix down and give it a descriptive name. I usually put x3 at the end so I know that it's a triple repeat of the audio and yes I want to overwrite this one because I've tried this once before let me give this a minute and what I'm gonna do then is load it up into a sound editing software and BAM there we go done so I'll close uh, Cubase down and then I open Soundforge is what I use. Uh, you can probably use any um, any software that supports uh, the features that we're that we're in need of. Uh, I'll open the audio file. So this is the the, the triple repeat of the audio, and we we're, we're interested in this uh, center part only. Uh, so how do we get that one? We do um, what I do in Soundforge is that set the status format to samples, and that will give me the total duration of the audio down here in the corner and then I have to use calculator because my math isn't so good so I type in the figure and now I'll divide it by three because we're exactly interested in the middle third and um, so that'll give me a figure of the number of samples so I'll copy that into my clipboard and in Soundforge I can press Control G to jump uh, I can jump to a position um, so I type that in and it's important that you take away the decimal points here because uh, otherwise it'll freak out It won't go to the right place. So Now I know that where my marker is now uh, is uh, exactly where I want to start my seamless loop And again in Soundforge I press the M key to insert a marker and then I can double click in this section And that will highlight all the audio down to exactly where I want to start. I'll press delete to delete it and then I want to do the same thing again. So exactly the same figure because it's still one third. And this time we only have two sections remaining. So it'll give me a split in the middle. And I want to press M again to insert the marker and delete the end part here. So I'll give this a quick listen now. Um, this should be quite a good loop now. So we'll start from the end here and see how it loops. And I'm happy with that. Uh, but what you need to do is uh, you also have to ensure that the seamless loops, um, you'll see if I zoom in at the end, it'll have a, a funny drop uh, right at the end of the track because the audio really stops here and then it just 
drops back to zero and if you look in the start as well it'll also have an awkward uh, where it just sort of it, it doesn't start from the very um, center of the um, of the wave file basically and what this could do is uh, it'll create a, like if you were to start this just from from total silence now then the speaker will have to jump into position to start where it, you know this sample says it should um, and that will create a click and uh, it's very apparent in, in slow music so you want to ensure that we get rid of this um, and what I do is I just select the first 20 samples so a very small set um, of samples and I'll fade that in um, so you see it starts at the center now instead and we want to do the very same at the end we take about 20 samples it'll tell me down in this corner here how many I've selected and then fade that out and this is such a small section of the uh, you know 20 samples it's nothing you can really pick out with your ear in this case anyway um, and to us now I think the loop will sound pretty much this, uh, the same since it's such an aggressive piece of music but we'll listen anyway Let's see here, zoom that out a bit and check it out. Yeah, it still sounds uh, good and as I said, for this type of music it's not as important uh, but make sure you do this for every seamless loop because you will have a little, a little click otherwise. Um, again, I selected 20 samples and for slow, if it's only strings for example or uh, pads and slow type of music, you can increase that from 20 samples to about uh, 80 I use. Um, otherwise it could still be a little percussive sound if it's, uh, if it's not attacking straight into, in this case, uh, highly percussive music. So, um, apart from uh, what I'm going to say now, this concludes it, but I also want to mention that you can um, I've created a script for SoundForge that does part of this. Um, if I close this file and then I'll open it again. So we're back to the to the three sets um, that we want to extract the center from. If you check out my uh, Infensia blog, you can go and download this script. Um, it's a seamless loop creating script. And if I run that, it'll exactly do the same as I just did manually now. It will uh, find this part uh, in the center, it will crop it out and it will crossfade the 20 samples uh, in the beginning and the end of the file. So go to my blog again and download that script if you're interested in it. It's a JavaScript, so good luck with your seamless samples. Thanks for tuning in.